Yo, so apparently I'm a watch mojo ass channel now with all these goddamn ranking videos, but look, these are insanely fucking fun to make, and I learn a lot about myself in the making of these. I learn how truly dumb and deluded I truly am, which can be an interesting experience for all of us. So today we're gonna be ranking my top 10 favorite Luffy fits. Obviously, this is subjective and I can't say I have the best fashion sense. I was one of those little white kids in school who wore like off-white and fucking Jordans and Yeezys and shit. And I mean, I still own that shit. I still got it in my fucking closet or whatever. But I haven't bought any of it in years. From ages 13 to 19, I spent every fucking dime I got on shoes. So yeah, I'm one of those. Anyway, that's a little peek in my fashion sense. I'm not like that anymore, so get off my cock. You can't get on me for that shit anymore. I fucking wear basic bitch shit now. But yeah, that's... That's that. Let's get into this shit. So coming at number 10, I got the Alabasta Desert Fit. I just think it's pretty clean and unique. Definitely not the best we have seen Luffy, but he's for sure rocking the fuck out of this shit. Not even remotely close to as clean as Ace's Desert Fit. You know, the one with the, the black with the fucking red flames? Jesus Christ, that shit went fucking hard. It was fucking nuts. Literally, I just can't- Number 9. I'm gonna do the little Impel Down Fit, solely because it has teal in it. And teal is my favorite fucking color, that's about it. I just wanted to throw that bitch in here. I couldn't throw it in the honorable mentions or anything because I love teal. <laughs> Number eight! Gotta throw in the motherfucking Saboti fit. That color combination just goes fucking hard. I mean, just look at it. The, the royal blue with the black just goes so well together. Just a dope-ass color combination. Plus, Saboti's my favorite arc, so I gotta dick ride it somewhat. I gotta spread the fucking gospel, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm using that word right, but you know what I mean. Number seven! I'm going with the OG color combo with the blue pants and the red uh, fucking shirt. And I'm gonna combine the pre and the post time skip here because the only fucking difference is the shirt, really. It's, it, it's just long sleeve versus a fucking tank top. It's just a classic. It'd be a shame and a travesty if I didn't put it somewhere in this list. Number six! I got the fucking return to Saboti fit with the uh, big ass coat and the little disguise, little glasses or whatever. I, I don't know what Bo was cooking with this, but I think it didn't come out as the way she intended. That shit was supposed to take away attention from Luffy, but this was breaking necks all over Saboti. I mean, how could the fuck could you not look at this clean ass big fucking coat? It's beautiful and luscious. Honestly, it could move up. I may uh, be fucking up here, but whatever. Number five! I'm gonna do the little rooftop fit. Now, there is absolutely nothing inherently special about this fit. I mean, all he fucking did was throw a coat on top of his little basic bitch fit, pretty much. But it kind of symbolizes that Luffy is on his way to being a Yonko because he's wearing a Shanks-esque coat. And even with my surface-level dumbass evaluation, I can realize that it deserves a spot on this list just because of that. Uh, and I, I wouldn't be mad if Oda just made that a permanent thing for Luffy's default fits from here on out, but we know that shit isn't happening. So, I'm not getting my hopes up. Number four! This is where shit gets pretty tough. I'm gonna do the Dress Rosa fit. This shirt goes fucking nuts. You might be able to get away with wearing this shit in real life, if we're being honest here. And I don't think anybody's gonna think you're a little weirdo. That's just how hard this shirt goes. Fuck Dress Rosa, though. I don't like Dress Rosa. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to fucking throw some shots, some unwarranted shots at Dress Rosa, but fuck Dress Rosa. Alright, here we go. We're in the fucking top three. This is where shit gets pretty juicy and where everybody's gonna get pissed at me. So. Number three, I'm gonna roll with the uh, punk hazard. He looks a little bit like a candy cane in it. I think that's what the intended fucking look was anyway. But I just think it's overall a better egghead fit, if that makes sense. Oh yeah, spoiler alert, egghead's not on this list. I'm gonna throw into the honorable mentions. It's not bad, and, and it's definitely not one or two. But, you know, not to piss anybody off here. But if you couldn't tell already, I kind of love big ass coats. And this is no exception to it. An underrated fit for an underrated ass arc. Fucking watch Dressrosa again, you stupid little shit. Alright, number two. It's probably gonna shock some people here, but I'm going with the Drum Island fit, alright? So we kind of stole Nami's coat, and I just love that fucking shit. I love- the yellow flannel just goes nuts. I'd actually wear that shit in real life if I could. It just looks so good. Also, Drum Island deserves more respect as well. That arc isn't that bad. Okay, here we go. It's the moment we've- all been waiting for, even me. I don't know what the fuck's gonna be number one. I, I, what the fuck? The single best outfit that has ever graced Luffy's rubbery body is the red whole cake suit. The shit is just, it, it's beautiful. It's plain and simple. Whole cake may have been kind of a dragged out arc for some people, including me, but you cannot deny the outfits in that arc went nuts. There's that one red Nami dress, the uh, Sanji wedding fit with the little red cape. 
but Luffy's, in my opinion, is the best. The red suit just suits him so well. It just works. The red and the black go so well together. I like the black straw hat, too. You know how he put the fucking little black hat on top of the straw hat? I love that shit. It's just beautiful and fucking elegant, just like me. But, yeah, that's the list. Let me know what you guys' favorite Luffy fits are in the fucking comments. I'm just saying that shit for engagement or whatever. Uh, you won't actually change my mind or anything. You can argue with me all you want. You're not changing my mind. But I will actually read that shit. So, yeah. Uh, go nuts. Uh, go fuck yourself. <laughs>